Welcome back to Snorkel Games, where we're doing a playthrough of Jenny LeClue, Detective Who. This game started off very lighthearted, where Jenny, a teenage detective, was solving fun cases like what did the dean of the university have for breakfast? Strawberry donuts. And helping a nice retired lady find her glossed glasses. They were on top of her head. Then the game takes a decidedly dark turn and turns out we discover the Dean has been murdered. Not only that, but our mom is the primary suspect and is being held at the jail for murdering the Dean. So now we have to, oh, that's right. And we have somehow been locked up in this room. We cannot get out. We're locked in this room. This is a, this is a very fancy, fancy place. Um, so let's go explore our environment and see how we can get out of this room because we have to prove our mother's innocence. I don't have my detective gear to pick the lock. Uh -huh. Besides, I can't just walk out in front of Mrs. Glatz. Uh, okay, so we're at the, we're at the Glatz mansion. Okay. I love you. I love you. Uh, nothing creepy about this at all. Yeah, I agree, Jenny. You are my best friend. You scared the life out of me, pig. Please stop. Whew. The sun was setting behind the great mountains of Arthurton, cradling the town in a warm red embrace. I slept the whole day away? I have to get out of here and make up for lost time. Yep. That's true. We do. Seriously, who has windows this big? <laughs> Below, Lake Nowhere stretched out as far as the eye could see. In the distance, Jenny could just make out the great lighthouse on Skull Island. It's foggy out there tonight. Hmm. Let's see. Best in show, horse ballet. First prize, advanced table etiquette? There's one here for best smile. Seriously? Whose room is this? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Let's look around. Oh, there we go. All the dangly bits are swaying. Hmm. Strange. That it's is strange. Windy in here. That's very odd. We should remember that. There's a track in the ceiling panel around Ooh. the chandelier. It looks like it can move. That's curious. Hmm. A heart-shaped mirror for the lady who loves herself. That's odd. Now, why are some of those out? Hmm. Ouch! That's hot! Uh. I'm not touching it. I'll burn myself. Okay, can I turn it off? Oh, I can, okay. Oh, and then it still shows. Oh, that's interesting. Why could I, hmm. Why could I do that? Huh. Nobody needs all those light bulbs. Just two. <laughs> Does it still work? Oh, that's, okay. Hmm. Hmm. There's something strange about this mirror. I was thinking the same thing, Jenny. This requires further investigation. Indeed it does. We'll turn it off for the moment. Let's keep looking. Okay, another. On the other side of the lake, beyond the forgotten forest, sat a more modest house. Hmm. No fancy windows or crystal chandeliers. Just a small wooden frame in need of painting. Home. Okay. Havoc, a hero's memorial. What should have been a touching farewell to a beloved member of the community was tarnished by a poorly timed act of protest yesterday at Mother of Mercy Church. An emotionally unstable child, uh-oh, I think that's us, was witnessed shouting at members of the congregation, causing damage to property and even desecrating the corpse. Oh, dear. 
After a long chase, the girl collapsed and was carried from the premises. Hundred gathered to pay their respects to the late Leslie Strasberry, the long-standing and beloved dean of Gumbel University, who was murdered in cold blood by a member of his own faculty. They're referring to our mother, of course. The community was devastated last Thursday when Mr. Strasberry was found dead at the school library after apparently being pushed from a third-story balcony. The murder was the first the town had seen in decades. Dean Strasbury survived by his son, Keith Strasbury, who was also was our best friend, may not be anymore since he thinks mom killed his father. After an anonymous tip, Sheriff Winston LeClue arrived first on the scene and found a woman covered in the Dean's blood. Evidence has been linked her to evidence has linked her to the murder. That's odd. Because when we, when we saw our mama at the library, she was not covered in the Dean's blood. That's strange. Although a motive for the killing has not been established, the woman has been identified as Julie LeClue, professor of criminology and daughter-in-law to Sheriff Winston LeClue. She remains in custody at the time while police continue their investigation. Okay, so let's, let's look around here. I don't remember any of this. Yeah. Bet that kid's in a lot of trouble. I think that kid's us. <laughs> Pushed from the balcony? That's not what happened. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And no mention of electrocution. Hmm. Mom wasn't covered in blood. Oh, that's what I thought too. That's a lie. <laughs> yep. Jenny thought of her poor mother, locked away in a jail cell for a crime she didn't Yeah, commit. that's not good. Don't worry, Mom. I'll prove you didn't do it, as soon as I get out of here. Mm -hmm. Either this is shoddy reporting, or someone is trying to cover up what really happened. My mom's still in jail, so the police must not think this was an accident. And if it wasn't an accident, then... <gasps> Gasp. The real killer is still out there! Indeed. Okay. Let's keep looking. I've never seen so many clothes. Maybe mine are in here somewhere. Too pink, too flashy, too delicate, too flowery, too expensive. Well, my clothes definitely aren't here. <laughs> It'd be easy to spot amongst all the sequins and ribbons. Fair enough. Invented, I love. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Notice something? The heart. It's exactly like the one that we were just messing around with. Let's try turning on those lights only and see if something happens. Yeah, I can't go any further. Oh, nope. Let's try that. I think that's our that's our way forward. Okay, so it was this one, and uh, it was a, f uh, was it this one? No, maybe this one. Oh, we already, that's funny, we already did the other two. <gasps> it's working. Whoa. That's unusual. This family's disposable income is outrageous. <laughs> I always knew they were hiding something. <laughs> I bet there are all kinds of horrific secrets lurking up there. Maybe. Okay. Let's go. Nope. There we go. Up we go. Dozens of old boxes covered in dust and cobwebs, filled with toys, school projects, and old trophies. Attics. 
where dreams go to die. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> Way out of here. <laughs> Locked. Hmm. But where is the lock? Hmm. Well, that's as far as we can go. We can't touch any of this stuff. Okay. Let's go. Let's sleep it's the other way. Hey, more of that pig thing. Uh, horse stuff. No, we're okay. <laughs> oh, hello, spooky bear. <laughs> Feels like he's watching me. Because he is. Okay, okay, let's, uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. Everything in here is covered in dust, except this bear. Hmm. What are you hiding? There's light coming from behind him. What are you hiding? <laughs> I love the amount of times that Jenny and I are on the same page. It's a little bit shocking. Okay. There we go. Oh, look out! Oh well. Jeez. Smothered by a giant teddy bear. What an end that would have been. Could be worse. Just Ooh. as I suspected. A hidden staircase. All right, let's go. Wonder what's up here? We'll find out. What the? Jenny was no stranger to the labs at Gumbold, but she'd never seen anything quite like this. Ooh, there's a person there too. Inside someone's house. My goodness. What are you doing up here? Oh. Uh. Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Susie? Wait, she was, oh, she was the popular girl. Loved who... Kind to a fault. Jenny's cousin was also the most popular girl in town. Oh, I did not realize that we were related to the Glatz family. And she was the she was the girl with the popular girls who was actually nice to us. Oh, uh, hi, Jenny. Well. I think that's a pretty good place to stop. So we're trying to find our way out so we can out of the Glatz mansion. And uh, maybe Susie can help us with that. We'll find out next time on another playthrough of Jenny LeClue, Detective Who. See you then.